Hey guys, it's us here at Ritual Gaming. I'm here with Danny and Joe, and we're going to be talking about the Force Awakens bundle. Should you buy it? Should you not buy it? And uh, what's it going to give you? And we're kind of continuing our series here. We're talking about all the different bundles that are on offer as you progress through the game. A lot of them are on offer when you're kind of earlier on in the game, you know, in the first 1 to 20 levels. And people want to know whether or not you should buy them. And we've been playing for a long time, so we're here to impart that knowledge. Mm. Now, let's look. For the Force Awakens bundle, you get a... What do you get, Joe? So, you're dropping 99 US dollars to get yourself a 4-star Kylo Ren, 4-star mm -hmm. Finn, 50 Poe shards. Now, if you're wondering, that is enough to unlock the character, and I believe 3 stars. Um, and 50 Phasma shards, which again is enough to unlock the character at three shard at uh, three stars, sorry. And then on top of that, you're going to have a bunch of three-star trainer droids, uh, 300,000 credits, and a whole buttload of crystals, 5,750 of them. Yeah. Now, I just want to quickly note at the beginning of this video, as we introduced uh, before, you do not want to use those crystals to buy lots of stuff in the game, buy chromium, stuff like that. You want to use those crystals in the most efficient manner possible, and that's farming gear for your core that you get from this bundle, and uh, refreshing sometimes when you're trying to go up the arena ladder really quick, and that's about it. Do <laughs> not get tempted. Don't turn to the dark side and buy a couple chromium packs. It's a waste. It's a huge waste because you won't have enough energy and resources to get any other character, even if they're really awesome, up to whatever you're going to be. So, let's continue. Kylo Ren. Danny, do you like him? I love Kylo. He's got no leader skill, but it doesn't matter because he's a, he's a great sub. <clears throat> uh, he works with Phasma leads, he works with uh, multiple leads, but yeah, he, he's a great sub and I, re I really like him. Worth it. Yeah, he has yeah. a very strong attack, and uh, Phasma's leader ability is if uh, someone attacks, it can get another person to also attack. So if you get Kylo Ren to also attack, it's good. He yeah. attacks well. He is good with his lightsaber. Yeah, and <laughs> as of recording the, the, the update, the, the latest huge patch, which we discuss in another video, is um, just going through, and after that, his damage over time skill, which uh, you'll get the hang of using once you start playing with him, can also kill people, where it could previously only leave them on a, you know, the equivalent of one HP, I suppose. They'd just leave them right on the verge of death, but not dead. Now it can just wipe them out completely. So he's got pretty tough. Yeah, it's quite a buff for him, actually. It's, it's good. Now, in the game, he is farmable in Cantina. Yeah. You're going to get further into Cantina. Yeah, you are, which is tough. One stage. It's so slow. A yeah. sharp time. But if you decide that Kylo's your man, um, you can start to star him up and, and push him to the end game. Yeah. Whether you want to do that... It's up to you. It's up to you. I mean, if I had <laughs> him, I probably would. I would. I, I would definitely if I had him. So, all right, let's look at the next character, Finn. Now, Finn, I mean, he's pretty easily farmable. Uh, which is good, but I think we were all talking shit talking before the show, and really all of us agree that he's just not that great. Really, downright to it, he's kind of a you know a jack of all trades, master of none. Just doesn't do a lot of damage. He's not a really good defensive character. He's not a uh, you know kind of a support character. Just in if he wasn't in the Force Awakens, I wouldn't want him in this bundle. Right. Questionable at best. Yeah, and his skills are a little unpredictable. You know, he can expose maybe one guy, and yeah, but we'll get to a character who does some serious exposing later. But um, yeah, all around, I think we all generally agree. So so. Yeah, pretty much so so. That's what you say for him. And let's look at our next character, Phasma. Now, Danny, tell me about Phasma. Is she uh, used very often in your arena ladders? <laughs> In Arena, she's she's about fifty percent of every person that has a comp. Yeah, has a phasma yeah. comp. She's great, you know. She just makes everyone attack basically at the same time, and it's 
yeah, if you have people like Kylo or, you know, uh, anyone else. Who's the other guy? Kylo, Sidious. Finn. Oh, oh, Sidious, yeah. Yeah, Anyone yeah, yeah. who attacks and is annoying, Phasma yeah. makes a hundred percent more annoying. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Definitely... Now, if you're if you're wondering what we're talking about, uh, what what is her leader ability, Joe? So her leader ability gives a slight percentage. I think it's fifteen percent at first, and it goes up as you gear um, to call on another person to attack immediately. So you can have this kind of chain effect where one person attacks, that calls them to attack, and maybe if their attack, you know, goes well, they might even get a bonus attack, you know, there's certain characters that do that, and all in all, it just leads to this kind of snowball effect where before they get a chance to do anything, you've obliterated half their team, and, and it's really frustrating to face up against, and really fun to wield. To use, so. yeah, that's absolutely right. And I think... Again, we're talking about with this how to be most efficient uh, using this bundle. Once you get to level 40, you're going to open up Galactic War. And the resource that you get from Galactic War, those little green tokens, you can use those to buy shards of Phasma. And you use your shards to star up Phasma because she starts at three stars, we assume. And she can go all the way up to seven. Each time you star her up, she's going to get stronger. And so just having that resource available to pour into a character that you already have is huge because you're, you're not starting from ground zero with her. You've already been using her. You already would have had her equipped with a lot of good gear by level 40. So it's great. You're going to be pressing that Phasma button in Galactic War again and again yeah. until she gets all the way up to the top, most likely. Now, what about Poe? Um, what do you guys see as for Poe's place in the compositions that you could make in this bundle? What about you, Danny? Yeah, po Poe's an all-around good character in a lot of comps, but in this comp, not entirely sure. It's fine. It's not bad, but I don't think he's the best thing for this comp. I think you'll probably want to switch him out after. But... But for a starter, like if you're just buying this as you start, it, it, it's, he's a great character. He's fine, you know? I think a lot of people don't, at first, and it certainly was confusing for me, was what exactly is Poe's skill? And he does this exposed yeah. thing, and what is that? And uh, exposes is when you attack a character. Well, you, 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 you uh, initiate this skill, and you may or may not uh, expose any of the characters on the opponent's team. And they'll get a little... Uh, little red indicator over their head that they've been exposed and the next time they are attacked immediately providing they hit they don't dodge 20 percent of their life will go and then your attack will be so essentially this just decimates teams and in the right compositions it's lethal um but if you're using just the characters from this pack you don't necessarily have the right composition to capitalize on that yeah efficiently and also, though, the great thing about Poe is he is farmable in the cantina, and with the cantina shipments, you can kind of kill two birds with one stone. So if you look at the first level of cantina, which I'm sure you guys have if you're listening to this, um, you could get Geonosian shards as you get the cantina credits, which you can put towards Poe. Now, whether or not you'd want to put those credits towards Poe is up to you. If you think you're going to be using him for the long run, then you could, but as we're saying here, I don't think you should if you're focusing on this bundle. Now, we're talking a lot about the compositions that you can make in this bundle. What are those? What do you guys think? If, if we're using this bundle, it's only four guys, right? What are, what are, what's the first composition that you're going to make? You're going to want to keep Phasma as the lead, for sure. Definitely. Get Kylo in there. What else, Joe? Well, I mean, that's where the shoe-ins are, are through. I mean, Phasma and Kylo are an absolute... Um, must if these the, if this is the bundle you choose to invest in. Um, next up is the sort of seventy five percent chance you're gonna you're gonna work Poe in there most certainly at first because you're only seeing this bundle at early levels and Poe will pop out three stars nice and tough ready to go and uh, so he's gonna fit right in there and he'll do some work to a point. Um, after that you're gonna have Finn and of course when you buy this bundle Finn will probably be among the tougher guys you've got. Now, Finn, as we said, is a little bit so-so, a little bit on the edge of whether we can figure out 
how to use him really effectively. Maybe someone is going to figure out that Finn is the best character in the game, but no one has yet. And um, so he's the guy that's really on the fringe. You're going to use him if he's the toughest guy you've got, but you're going to find yourself subbing him out sooner or later. And then that leaves an empty space. Which I think we've pretty much all agreed before we started filming this should be Jedi Counselor. And Jedi Counselor is just a great character. You get, her, uh, get him right away. He's great in Galactic War because he has a very low cooldown on his heal, and his basic attack can reset that cooldown, or sorry, make the cooldown lower. And uh, yeah, right. And then he's also really good in Arena, actually, uh, for especially for the early levels. He's pretty tanky. I see him all the time in the top ten. Yeah, yeah. you know, you, you get him some good gear. He can take a hit. He can give a good heal, and he can heal himself with his third ability, the Force Blast. So before he's going to carry you through some dark yeah. times. Yeah, he's a he's a bit of an all rounder, and I don't think anyone has ever gotten to the end game of this and thought, "Shit, I wish I didn't put so many resources into Jedi Counselor because mm. he just carries you through so much stuff." The light side missions, Galactic War Arena, he's great. Okay, now. One of the things that we're talking about with these bundles are how to use your resources most effectively. Now, if you watched our introduction video to this, or if you haven't, then you should go back and watch it. But your three resources that you're going to be working with are arena shipments, galactic war shipments, and cantina shipments. So how are you going to use these resources most effectively with this bundle? Now, galactic war, no problem. This is easy. You put all those shards, all those resources into Phasma. She's your girl. Phasma away, yeah. Now, when we get to Arena, it's a bit of a hit or miss. Nobody in this bundle is in the Arena shipments, so there's no obvious choice. So, Danny, who do you think that you would put your Arena tokens, shards, whatever you want to call them, towards in this, if you're working with this bundle? Well, I see a lot of Phasma comps, and a lot of them, I think City is, is, a, is a clutch character. Yeah. I think just really focus towards Sidious. And, you know, even when you have a Galactic War team and your Phasma dies, God forbid, you can always uh, swap out your leader for Sidious, and he's always a strong character to have for a Galactic War. Yeah, I absolutely agree. Speaking um, pure free-to-play characters who wouldn't be buying any bundles, they're doing the same thing. They're yep. picking up Sidious, and they're just smashing him right to the top because he is just a top-tier character that... And I don't think anyone who knows a thing about the game doesn't want or have him, so... Yeah. Right, and then we go to our next resource, which is Cantina Shipments. Now, Poe is in Cantina Shipments, but as we've been saying throughout this video, you might really not want to use him in the long run if you're only focusing on this bundle. So, Joe, who would you focus on Cantina Shipments if you weren't going to focus on Poe? Uh, with the guys, this pack's going to give you, you know, Phasma and Kylo, um, and then you're thinking maybe Poe and Finn, perhaps. You know, a, a, a go-to for me would be Old Daka. Now, Old Daka is um, probably the most frustrating character in this game to play against. So, for the same reason, you want her in your team. Uh, you know, she's she's uh, healing people up. She's bringing people back from the dead. She's just a nightmare to play against. And I feel that Phasma and Kylo are also in that vein of characters who are just a nightmare to play against. So anything that can, you know, strengthen that and make that more irritating, you know, you can just make the most irritating team in the game, and that's really what you want. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, she, she is definitely the best choice, I'd say, if you're not going to put your shipments into Poe. Now, if you follow all this, basically your end game goal as you progress through the game is that you're going to be trying to stay near the top of the arena ladder, and you're going to be trying to do as many full clears daily of Galactic War as you can. Now, obviously, you can only clear Galactic War once per day, and the arena you can only play five times per day. But Unless you buy back in with your crystals. You should buy back in with your crystals because you have so many of them. And you should try and get to the highest part of the arena ladder you can because you start to get more arena shipments and you start to get more crystals. Now, with this bundle, let's summarize it. Do you guys think that this is going to hang around as, it pro as the person progresses through the game in the 
top 50 of Arena? Two things will. One of them's farmable. So basically you're buying Kylo. That's what I think. Yeah, I think that's a great way to summarize it. But what about Galactic War? If you put some resources into Jedi Counselor and you get old Daka, what, Joe, do you think it's going to do okay in Galactic War? Yeah, you're, you've got some nice tanky guys in there. You know, Finn hangs around, Poe hangs around. You've got Jedi Consular healing them back up while they go down. And Poe can be really clutch in a, in a, when you find yourself up against really tough Galactic War teams. You know, his yeah. explodes can just obliterate teams. And, you, you know, you expose them with Poe and then you use Phasma's AoE attack and then all of a sudden their team don't look half as scary as they did a turn before, you know. Um, so these guys will do you well in Galactic War. Um, now these... In the early game, you'll be getting a couple of full, full clears with them. Yeah, I agree. And so you can snowball your resources and you can keep your account doing really well. Now, this is $99 US. Is it worth it, Danny? What do you think, yes or no? No, I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't buy Phasma for $99. Joe, what do you think, yes or no? No, uh, exactly what Danny says. You know, Kylo. you no, are Phasma. buying Kylo. Yeah. You can farm Poe, you can farm Phasma, and Finn is a bit whatever. So you're paying $99 for a yeah. character who in themselves is going to be a nightmare to star up with their single Cantina level. That's at true. Age. Yeah. Actually, that that is one point that we should end this on is that... Uh, Kylo himself, unless you plan on buying more Chromium packs, is very, very hard to star up. He only has one Cantina level. And so that means, yeah, you can do it as much as you want, but you're constricted by your energy. And those Cantina levels, they don't really drop shards as often as, you know, you would like. So with this one, I think we all agree it's a no. It's not really worth your money unless you really want those characters, mm -hmm. right? Agreed. All right, guys, thanks a lot. This is us here at Ritual Gaming, and uh, please like and subscribe. Leave us some comments. Tell us if you like the video or not. Thank you. Thank you.